the dead walk among us. Zombies, no matter what their label, these somnambulists are the greatest threat to humanity, other than humanity itself. To call them predators and as prey would be inaccurate. They are a plague and the human race their host. The lucky victims are devoured, their bones scrapped clean, their flesh consumed. Those not so fortunate join the ranks of their attackers, transformed into putrid, carnivorous masters. Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking. Today we're going to be talking about zombies. The question is, do zombies really sleep or not? Well, if you want to know the answer to this question, please stick with me until the end of this video because there's going to be some cool things coming up. For example, you're going to be seeing me and the Metatron sparing. I'll be the zombie and Metatron is going to be the samurai with a katana. Who's going to win? Well, it's a good question. So, please watch. For those of you who haven't heard about this phenomenon, apparently the popular sleep aid Ambien can have some very odd side effects. Ambien is a sleep aid, a class of drugs known as hypnotics. Typically prescribed for treatment of insomnia, it has a short half-life from 2 to 3 hours. Thus, a crucial is to take the drug only when you know you're going to get at least 8 hours of sleep. Apparently, those who are forced to wake up earlier experience some side effects that are quite similar with the side effects that you would experience if you would be drinking and taking drugs at the same time. Sleepwalking and sleep eating. A small subset of Ambien users will sleepwalk and sleep drive when they use a drug. Some think it's a myth that people walk around with their arms straight ahead like zombies. But I deeply disagree as I've heard of many people walking in that specific manner. However, they tend to have a glazed expression as through the eyes are unseen. And it is very hard, very hard indeed, to get their attention. People do not tend to switch the light on. They navigate around their homes from memory. Professor Matthew Wolf from University College London Hospital Sleep Clinic declared once one of his patients went out from his house, got into his car, and drove all while fast asleep. Then there was the case of a 15-year-old girl who in 2005 was found at the top of a 130 feet crane having climbed there while sleeping. That's unbelievable, but that's true. Memory loss also occurs, and anecdotal reports suggest that some Ambien users have actually raided the fridge while somnambulating and put on a substantial amount of weight with no recollection. Yes, with no recollection of doing so. Others have apparently found themselves in two car wrecks or have been pulled over by the police with no recollection as to how they actually got there. I find this phenomenon intriguing when thinking of zombies. The question is, do zombies sleep? Well, according to the 2013 movie Warm Bodies, they do. But I'm not quite sure if that is the case. So let's examine this together. Yes, in the 2013 film Warm Bodies, the protagonist R does sleep. The zombies in this film experience a form of dreaming of sorts, when they consume the brain matter of the living. They can experience people's memory in a somewhat dreamlike state. So this is kind of crazy, isn't it? It seems like all zombies are bipolar. Well, they're very mysterious and very unpredictable. Zombies may look like somebody with a green thumb. However, they can kill you in no time. And that's why we all need to be prepared for the zombies apocalypse. When you think about zombies, think of it as the standby mode of your computer. It doesn't shut down completely, but rather is in a holding pattern, allowing the machine to last longer and run more efficiently when booted back up. Many insects and fish species act similarly, and so too many zombies. 
Do the walkers need to sleep? Come on, they are called walkers. Is there any wonder why they are called walkers? They're walking around all the time. However, there are two types of zombies or categories. Well, there are like some zombies group and some of them can be very massive. And these zombies group are called herds. And they walk around unceasingly, paying attention to every noise they hear. And they will follow that noise and they will find you. And then there is another type of zombies who tend to stand still, not moving much. And they are like smelling around. And then there are zombies who appear to be very slow, who are standing, who are paying attention to every noise, smell, and even visual distraction. Some people say that zombies' main advantages is that they don't sleep, they don't breathe, because they are dead. Well, it seems pretty clear to me that most walkers do not need to sleep. They can go longer without sleep than any other normal human beings. They can walk for days without pause. However, it seems that at some point they kind of get into a state of rest, a state of dormancy. So we have the roamers move constantly and frequently, congregate in roaming herds. Some groups can be massive. They never sleep. The larkers are prowling around. They are passive until roused. Stand, sit, lay in one place. Seem dormant until prey comes close. is not considering the environment around him. Stress and fear must not be underestimated and could reduce our focus and ability to judge distance. Avoid overswinging. Metron hits the zombie but it's still too close. There is no way to know if the blood of a zombie could be infected and dangerous, and we can know if the hit would be good enough to stop him. This time Metatron successfully brought the zombie down, but his leg is still within bite reach. Metatron used the environment for his advantage to block the zombie and hit him while remaining safe.
Zombies look human. They are not. They do not think. They do not bleed. Whether they were your mother or your best friend, they are beyond your help. They are uncaring, unfeeling and incapable of remorse. Thank you so much for watching and remember if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from Sal. Thank you so much again, thank you to my patrons, I love you all, and till the next time, bye bye. So guys, let's get ready for this zombies apocalypse. Are you ready? I am.